Hi, everyone. Welcome to Source Snack Break. I'm Ren with Source. Today is Tuesday, July 14th, also known as Bastille Day or French Independence Day. So hooray to them. Um, they're all celebrating right now. All my friends in France are celebrating. How nice. Um, anyway, um, so before we get started, I'll tell you a couple things about the webinar tools. So you're all muted automatically, but you do have access to the live chat there on the right. So you can pop in your favorite emoji to try it out. You can also use the live chat to ask any questions or comment, and we'll make sure we answer those questions. So bring it on. We love that. Um, we'll also send you a recording of the webinar after the presentation so you can reference it later or send it to a friend, whatever works for you. So today we have Nicole with Atlas Maslin. Hey, Nicole. It's Hi. Good to see you. First hey, of all, started, can, we tell, can you tell us a little bit about your background and then a little bit about Atlas Maslin as a company? Sure. Yeah. So my background is actually interior design. Um, so I worked as an interior designer um, for about five years and then got allured into the sales side of things. So <laughs> jump ship. So um, I did sales for a uh, Herman Miller dealer in Portland for a number of years. And then I transitioned over to Atlas um, before it was Atlas Masland. So, yeah. Um, Can you talk about that really quick? I think sometimes maybe designers don't know that, but you yeah. used to Atlas and Masland, and now yeah. you've combined forces. When did exactly. that happen? Yeah. So, Atlas and Masland, um, basically at the very beginning of this pandemic, we combined forces um, as one, which is really exciting because it's two amazing, beautiful brands. Um, I super love representing both entities, especially now coming together as one. They're both high style, gorgeous um, lines. And I want to say carpet, but we offer, you know, area rugs and LVT, um, just floor offerings. So um, basically we've merged and become one. And so now um, we're not re booking all of our products just because that's a huge endeavor, but all of the books going forward will now be branded as Atlas Masland. So, awesome. yeah. And are you guys, is it based in Georgia like all the other companies or? Yeah, we have a few different um, production facilities. Our main one is in Alabama. So okay. Sarah Land, Alabama is where the mill is. I love that. I love that you're yeah. all so close to each other. Sweet. So let's talk about your new your new series. Um, can okay. you tell us a little bit about this series and what um, sort of inspired it or what um, sort of project type you're looking at? Tell us a little bit about it. For sure. Okay. First of all, I have to just say right out of the gate, I am so pumped about this series. It's like something you know, as a designer previously myself, this is like what I was waiting for, for a carpet, you know, manufacturer to come out with. And we have, and I, it's amazing. So I can't wait to dive deeper into this with everybody. So this is a series. Um, and so with that, there are two different books out right now. There are, um, over on the left, which is called Achievements. So that series book is Achievements. Strategically starts with an A. Mm -hmm. The next book is Blossoming, which starts with a B. And then we will roll into C, D, E, and everything will still continue to coordinate with everything previous. Oh, so, awesome. Right now, with this launch, we have 16 16 new beautiful styles of carpet. Um, six are running line, and we have 10 that are additional patterns that complement um, the others. And you'd asked how the series had started. Um, Elena is our head of design, and she really wanted to find a way to basically take all of these 16 patterns, have them all have the same color palette, but then also have them um, be able to elegantly work with each other. And so having like multiple coordinating products. And so mm -hmm. whether you have large patterns 
and then some smaller patterns, um, whether you're going down a corridor or needing a border carpet or a transition zone. So the series is called Living and was designed around senior living, but I see it as even so much more because senior living and the reason why they call it living is because it's not just senior living, it's multifamily, it's hospitality. You know, when we get to that spot where we're looking at going to be in a community, we're wanting so much more as do the baby boomers right now. And so it's really trying to find that sophistication and style um, to integrate into these communities. And but even when you look at the patterns and the textures, they're just super rich. They're vibrant, um, small patterns, large scale patterns. The one that's um, intrepid over on the top there, that one was actually taken from a sunset that Elena saw before she moved to Alabama from L.A. Wow. Um, and I'll have to invite you all to jump on the website and look at the collection because this is such a small little snippet of what they look like. Um, they really, they're really impactful. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, I love that they are all sort of coordinating so that as a designer, you could really do an entire building from one binder, essentially, which makes your yeah. work a lot easier because it already goes together. Yes, they all coordinate together. Um, there's a um, 13 different colors in the color palette for um, the series. And one of the designers that I've been working with on this, she said the same thing that you did, Ren. She goes, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm cheating. This was so easy. <laughs> and it's a very large project that she's working on, but she was able to draw, you know, a multitude of different patterns and then bring in some coordinating um, product and outfit the entire um, job with it. Nice. very seamlessly. So that was what our goal was, is to make it easy on our designers because it's hard enough as it is. <laughs> yeah. So what format does this come in? Are there um, tiles and broad loom? Yeah. So depending on the, um, the pattern, some of the patterns have both broad loom as well as plank. Um, and some of the patterns are just too large of a scale where once we chopped it up into plank, it just didn't make a whole lot of sense. So yeah. essentially you have Broadloom and plank with this offering. Sweet. Can you, I didn't spec a lot of Broadloom in my day as a designer, mm -hmm. but can you talk a little bit about what a designer should keep in mind? Um, are you seeing areas that are particularly good for Broadloom? Are there clients that like Broadloom? Like what are the things designers should keep in mind if they do end up looking at Broadloom? Yeah, so Broadloom, you know, was something that Atlas really specialized in and still, you know, with Masland, obviously have some beautiful Broadloom patterns. And so what you're able to achieve in Broadloom is typically a larger scale pattern, um, kind of more um, impact in that way. I'm and more dramatic. <laughs> yeah, a bit more dramatic. And so we see a lot of our clients who... Um, you know, it, even the restaurant industry is still going with Broadloom. We still see our senior living um, clients liking Broadloom. They're starting to kind of transition into tile a little bit more, depending on where within the community it's at. Um, and then, gosh, you know, there's so many of these patterns, too, that really work for workplace Typically, you know, you're seeing tile in those um, applications, but this way you have that option, you know, depending on your client or the type of project that you're working on, you have the flexibility to choose one or the other on Got those it. patterns. Sweet. Uh, one of the other things that I forgot to mention is the, the broad loom in here comes with a Permian back, which is one of our upgraded backings. Um, because it's more targeted towards senior living. So basically what that is, is a moisture resistant backing that's just standard on the product right out of the gate, which is awesome. 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 And speaking of backings, I know you guys just released a PVC free backing. We've got we some did. designers here who love to hear that. Um, can Is that backing available on some of these patterns? 
Yes, that backing is available on these patterns. So anything that's offered in a plank can come with that Sustaina backing, which is a cushion back PVC free backing, um, which is amazing. Yeah, we Sweet. love it. That's great to hear. Um, I want to get back to the broad loom again really quickly. Just when it comes to like install or putting it in their spec, are there things designers should keep in mind because so many people are moving to tile? Are there certain things that designers should be on the lookout for when they put it in their specs in terms of install requirements or how, what kind of adhesives do you need? Do you need adhesives? Like what is the, what is the haps on Broadloom? So Broadloom can be installed in a variety of different ways. Typically we see it just as a direct glue down. Um, and you know, the installers, um, are pretty familiar with that, but it has to, you know, we, we highly recommend somebody that's been doing this for a long time is knows commercial work. Um, it's not quite as easy as installing tiles. So there are some um, um, kind of tips and tricks to the port of the trade that they need to be aware of. Um, if it's an installer that is not as necessarily as used to installing Broadloom, we have a whole technical service team that we can connect them with to kind of walk them through um, appropriate um, installation methods and awesome. kind of tricks. So That's sweet. Okay. Um, and when it comes, like I'm looking at the lower left hand picture with the two patterns sort of merging on a curve. How mm -hmm. can a designer achieve that? Is that something that you would do with Broadloom or Tile? Like, how can a designer really start to mix and match this pattern, these patterns together, and create some really cool looks in a project? Yeah. So basically, um, yes, that's definitely something that's achievable. And so whether you're doing this in Revit or CAD, you just draw it on the plans um, and basically map it out for your installers. And even having a pre-install meeting to kind of walk through with your installers of um, appropriate widths and kind of how to best utilize the width of the carpet itself without having too much waste. Um, I'm always happy to jump in on that conversation. Um, that way you're not having a huge amount of waste with your product um, or the product. And so that also plays in a role of, you know, do you use tile here or do you use Broadloom? Or um, that's also the reason why some of these large scale patterns intermix so nicely with some of these smaller scale patterns. So you can really utilize um, all of the carpet and not have extraneous waste. I love that. Um, sweet. So let's chat also um, about your customs department because oh, yeah. I think this is kind of a cool part of your um, company that I didn't really know about until I started digging into it. Can you talk a little bit about how a designer can work with you to create some super custom products? Can they go do anything from like choosing something and picking a different color to like completely custom? Like what do those possibilities look like? Yeah, the possibilities are super endless. Um, and it's not an intimidating uh, thing to do. In fact, the majority of our sales um, are completely custom. And so, oh. yeah, and so that can be anything from taking a running line pattern and saying, gosh, I really love this, but can you increase the scale by 200% or can you reduce the scale or, um, boy, just none of these colors are working for us. I really want to add the chartreuse green to it and then weaving that in. Um, oh. It's a really easy process. We come up with a PDF rendering of the custom that we initially begin talking about. And then we send that to the designers. They either modify it or tweak it or say, hey, we love it. Then we run some strike offs. Um, oftentimes what we do is uh, take a collection that we already have and say, oh, I love this, but I wanna pull colors from this collection because these are more the colors that work with my palette. So you can take a running line color from a different book and then say, I'd like to apply it to this book, um, making sure that it's either you have to cross, it's either solution dyed nylon or a piece dyed nylon. So as long as those two match, then we're good. Awesome. So, and is there a minimum for that or is it like, let's just go? Well, it depends. We, if somebody wants something really bad and they'll pay for it, then we can make it. So um, typically we say there's a, you know, a 300 to 500 yard minimum for customs, um, which doesn't take a whole lot 
you know, in order to achieve. Um, the other thing that we can do is if it is a really small space and you want to have something super custom, our area rogue program is amazing for stuff like that. Um, we do custom area rugs all the time and it could be wool or nylon. Um, we have a number of patterns on our website that you can custom color. Um, I just did this with a gal not too long ago and she loved loved everything about it and then just needed to modify the pattern, you know, scale. And so if you're just looking for a one room and you don't meet obviously the 300 to 500 yard minimum, then we can look at doing it in an area rug and, you know, getting it accomplished that way. I love that. And am I remembering correctly that Maslin has a pretty robust area rug program and you have some pretty great relationships with weavers and you have really high quality wools and they feel so yummy and they yes. have a ton of patterns. Am I remembering that correctly? You are. Yeah. So we have a number of different we call them area rug programs. So anything from undyed natural wool. Um, we work with both um, weavers in India as well as China. Um, we can take images. So say even just the image that's behind me right now, the trees, if you have a favorite image, you're like, oh my gosh, I just would love to see this on the ground. We can interpret that image and put that into an area rug. Wow. Um, our capabilities are really endless when it comes to the area rug program. Um, we also have just pre-stocked area rugs at the mill and just standard sizes. If you're needing something quick, um, readily accessible and just a killer price point, um, that's our Elevate program. So Sweet. if anybody has any questions on you know any of that, we can talk further, email that's me or your local reps. Heck yeah. And I do remember liking to hear uh, that you use very happy sheep from New Zealand. <laughs> yes. that it's always good to hear about the cute little sheep. Um, yes. Yeah. So designers, before we jump off here, if you have any questions from Nicole, for Nicole about area rugs or Broadloom or this amazing new line, you can definitely chat them in right now. In the meantime, you can also head to um, our website and get samples immediately because we need that immediate satisfaction. Um, is there anything else, Nicole, you'd like to add about this line? How soon will the next, will the C come out? Like, do you know? Oh, goodness. Yeah. So she, Elena, is working on the C collection right now. So I, um, I don't know the answer to that, but we we're so excited with the A and the B books right now um, with the 16 new patterns. That's a it's, lot. It is a lot. And it's really, please take a look at the website. I'm happy to send out um, our digital brochures with tons and tons of imagery in them. Um, I don't know if it's possible to put those on the source website or not. Yeah, um, that might be a good way just to dive into some additional images. So sweet. Yeah. I love it. Well, designers, um, thank you so much for coming. If you'd like to register for another snack break, we have the next two weeks up. So smash that register now button. In the meantime, Nicole, it was so great to see you. It's been yeah, so long. Been. I know. And I hope that we can do this again soon. That sounds great. Well, thanks everybody for joining. Really appreciate you taking the time. And awesome. definitely go to our website. It's uh, www.atlasmaslin.com. There's and, some great photos on there. Yeah. So yeah. really awesome photos, a beautiful collection that's just so relevant in so many different projects. I love it. Thanks so much. All right. Have a great day, everyone. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.